Hi, I'm Tom Meyer. I'm a naturalist at Baltimore Woods Nature Center in Marcellus, New York. And for your animal of the week this week, we're going to talk about snow spiders. Now, that seems crazy, right? Spiders on the snow. But it's true. It happens. And I found some. Check this out. So here you go, a spider on the snow. Crazy, right? There's no reason that this animal should be able to survive out in the cold like this, below freezing temperatures. But they can, and they've got some special science inside their cells that helps them do that. In spiders, and we also see this in stoneflies and lots of other animals, believe it or not, one of their strategies for surviving the cold of winter is to not try to keep warm like mammals and birds do, but to not freeze. When water freezes, it forms these sharp edged crystals, usually six sided, but they can often be very pointy like little daggers. And to animals, that can be dangerous. Animals are made up of mostly water, and when that water freezes inside of the body, it can actually damage the cell walls. And that's what frostbite is all about. It's actually the water inside of our skin that is freezing and damaging cells. So that's why for mammals and birds it's a monumental effort to keep warm in the winter to avoid that freezing that could happen. For these spiders, all they need to do is make sure that the water inside their body doesn't freeze. Because if it freezes, that forms ice crystals. Ice crystals will tear apart their cells and then they won't survive. So, the way they do this is by trading out some of their water in between their cells for glycerol. And glycerol is the same kind of stuff that's in antifreeze that we put in our car. It's made primarily of sugars. And that sugar lowers the freezing point of water, which means that the water inside their bodies won't freeze um, until it gets to, in spiders they found, until minus four degrees Fahrenheit. So that's pretty darn cold. And they can survive and even be a little bit active walking around on the snow. So what are they looking for? This spider is probably looking for springtails. That is a group of insects um, known as the columbella. And they are also known as snow fleas because they come out in the wintertime. You see them on top of the snow. They are um, detritivores. They help decompose um, things in the soil and build up that soil there for us. But they're good food for these spiders too. And they're available in the wintertime, so why not? So there's two groups of spiders that we'll probably see um, out in the snow. And those are the tetranathides, the long-jawed orb weavers, and also the linotheides, which are the sheet web spiders, um, also known as dwarf spiders. They're very, very tiny, very small. And you might often see also lycosidae, which are the wolf spiders. Um, and actually, a lot of these guys can exist under the snow layer, between the snow and the ground. We call that the subnivian, where the snow insulates and actually keeps it a little bit warmer, right hovering around 32 degrees Fahrenheit. There you have it, snow spiders. Pretty amazing, right? Next time you're out for a hike, keep your eyes out for some spiders on the snow, maybe even stoneflies. Lots of amazing things to find in the wintertime if you just get outside and look. So be safe, stay well. If you like this kind of content, check us out on social media and our website, baltimorewoods.org, and we'll see you next time.